Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having an incredible day or night in Jesus. I'm probably going to do two different videos with this particular New Testament. It is a trucker's edition. I have a great heart for the trucker's chapel edition. I remember when Joe Hunter, I think was his name, when I worked at Berean, late 1980s, maybe very early 1990s, started the trucker's ministry and just did such a, a great job in so many ways, helping truckers, trying to get their minds on Jesus, praying with them, helping them, and uh, truck driving is a world, maybe it was a little bit of a different world back in those days. I remember when I used to work at the Rio Vista, we would go to Truck Stops Over America, go play video games. So this is a free Trucker's Bible, King James Plus, extremely good cover. It's 222, and I'm just going to tell you, I don't remember where I got this. I want to say maybe my wife and I were at a flea market or a market, and they were giving these away. I wanted to know if I wanted one. And the second reason I'm going to do two on this probably is because it's the King James Plus, which I was not, unless the King James Plus is another name for something like the KJ 223 or something, but it's got the quotation marks like the 1611 King James does not have, paragraph headings, which that varies, archaic words explained right in the text, kind of like a Schofield or a defined King James. And then application notes, trucker stories, study questions, topical index. So this is uh, Honor Your Gates. We help ministries produce custom Bibles and Bible products. 6539 Nofke Drive, Caledonia, Michigan. So I may have to get with them on a couple of projects I want to work on. So this is a trucker's edition. Special edition of the King James Plus for truckers like you, which I've never been a trucker. My father-in-law was a trucker for a long time, various things. Man, he drove a milk truck for years. It was Schneider's in uh, eastern Ohio to a lot of Amish and Mennonites, one-lane roads, ice, blizzards, that m milk sloshing in the back. And get this schedule. He was on 24, off 24. That's a schedule right there. That's a tough schedule. Not on 24, all 48, or 72 like firefighters. On 24, off 24, driving a truck. So, as we turn through it, it's got God loves you. Again, it is just the New Testament. Very good print. Now, we're having some problems with our cameras. So, Sister Waldron at the moment cannot zoom in. Sorry about that. And so, got like trucker stories Gary Rayburn a child's prayer got phone numbers email address Muncie Valley Pennsylvania Wyatt so tons of trucker stories in here very little ghosting and I'm gonna guess this is at least 12 point print and the same when you get to the King James plus Part as well and I was reading through a little earlier like it's got study notes at the bottom on some pages not every page and I'll say God is at least I don't think it's every page God is with you in the middle of the night when you're trying to get to sleep in some overcrowded truck stop and your mind will not stop going down negative trails God is with you when you feel afraid discouraged helpless God is with you when your life have you felt that God was with you? Uh, and then uh, the notes are probably a good 10 or 11 point print in dark. Wise men from the east were looking for something that was not worthy of their worship. Excuse me, that was worthy of their worship. Wise men still have that found something in your life that's worth giving your life to. Right, reading this Bible, you're looking in the right place great headings and it's also paragraph style which to me I learn a lot reading it's hard like to follow along if you're preaching or something or teaching but just reading paragraph style is really good so King James plus it is not red letter 
and I don't think it has introductions before each book either. I'm going to double check. I'm in Acts right here. And uh, no, well, it does have a summary of Romans. Okay, the book of Romans summary. On his third missionary journey, Paul stopped in Corinth, Greece, and wrote a letter to the churches in Rome. And, uh, you know, it's a few sentences long. Let's see if it's got that for everything. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. See if it does one introduction for all of Corinthians or has a separate one for 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. Yeah, it does not have one for 2 Corinthians. Let's see about Galatians. Yeah, it does have a very, you know, I'll just read the summary like for Galatians. Paul wrote this letter to the church he had planted in Galatia on his first missionary journey. He wrote to correct the notion that a person can be saved by doing the law. The law is God's will for our lives, but we cannot earn our salvation by doing it. That's pretty good to think. Let's see what Acts 2.38 says. I think it's going to read about the same. I did not check this before we did the video. Um, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one in the name of Jesus Christ, for remission. And then it's got in parentheses, Forgiveness of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you, to your children, to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. The only difference is it's got uh, quotation marks. The most important church is the one that meets in your home, your family. How's the church in your own home going? Have you shared your walk with your family? Why or why not? I remember did a uh, leadership meeting and I kept asking the question, if not, why not? I think I got on everybody's nerves. So, Sister Waldron shaking her head, yes. So there's tons of ministry details in the back. Audio podcast ministries. Uh, voice of believers. Trucking angels for Christ. Our daily bread. Man, our daily bread is like everywhere. And they've got like Pentecostals, apostolics working for them. They're huge. Association of Christian Truckers, Truck Stop Ministries. Is that, uh, yeah, Jackson, Georgia. That's one we kind of helped start by working at Berean. It's got a great little thing, what New Testament says about acceptance, angels, demons, church, faith, courage, Bible reading questions. What church was either neither hot nor cold? Revelation 3, what verse is that? So it's got question and answers for every verse. I mean, excuse me, every chapter in the Bible. I can't let Sister Waldron have this because she'll use it for the back of our bulletins. So good print everywhere, over 400 pages, but really, you know, putting my hand over it. Uh, free Trucker's Bible. Let's get millions of truckers' Bibles out there. God bless you. See you later. Bye-bye.